Alright, alright, hello everyone and now welcome to a game between La Layette and Lin. This game taking place on Concealed Hill. Lin spawning as the blue orc over here on the bottom left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, La Layette has spawned as the yellow night elf over here on the top right. Night elf versus orc in this 1v1 matchup and it looks like for some reason the animations were not properly loaded. My apologies but nothing I can really do about this. Perhaps it will get fixed in Warcraft 3 Reforged. Now let's go ahead and break things down into this matchup. What we're looking at, what we're seeing here. Altar of Storms, Barracks, Orc Burrow. The next follow up timing as anyone knows if you do follow my channel or uh, or an avid Warcraft 3 player is going to be the timing of the Voodoo Lounge and that next Orc Burrow, or perhaps a Tech to Tier 2. Meanwhile, on the opposite end, we can see Altar of Elders Moonwell, <coughs> excuse me, and also this Ancient of War, and it looks like the hero of choice is going to be a Keeper of the Grove. Keeper of the Grove, a fairly solid hero choice as of late in Tangle, very powerful going up against those um, higher supply units such as grunts um, the fact that you're able to shut down that grunt for so long and you're also able to do a lot of damage to it not only because well there is that damage over time but since he is rooted in position for quite some time the follow-up auto attacks from archers and keeper of the grove are often enough to finish it off um, orc players generally have a difficult time trying to harass a night elf player now in these particular instances. Meanwhile, we are looking at the Keeper of the Grove making its way out here. Ancient of War going to go ahead and eat a tree, make its way over here towards the Rock Golem camp. We should be looking at some... Uh, well, some an Ents joining in on the fight. Are we going to perhaps get a sl repair? Yes, there is a repair right there. Unable to repair that Ancient of War because of that entangle from that Forest uh, Troll Trapper. But, well, that Keeper of the Grove should make things well, work very, rather quickly. Forest Troll High Priest most likely going to get taken out now. A lot of healing right there. Finally is the repairs. Meanwhile, the Blade Master quickly picking up a Gloves of Haste will sell that Scroll of Town Portal, pick up some useful items, a uh, healing salve, and a Scroll of Speed, and now make its way out. Back across here, Keeper of the Grove making sure to finish off this creep camp rather fast. It looks as though it should be able to do that in just a moment, getting in even more ends to join in on the fight. The inner fire actually adding in quite a bit of damage, wanting to make sure to finish off this rock golem, getting to level 2, now has Entangle, but well, could be in a little bit of a, a, of a tight spot here. Are we going to see that force of nature getting taken out? Or is the Blade Master, nope, too busy trying to pick up some additional items, but it does get a circlet of nobility off of that. All right, Keeper of the Grove going to continue to engage. Now going after the Ogre Warrior. There's an Entangle there as damage will get added back up. One Ogre Warrior will get taken down the... Well, let's take a look at that. Oh, those Ents also getting taken down there. Meanwhile, the Keeper of the Grove still wandering back. It did pick up the very useful item as we are going into Ultra Vision. Ultra Vision allows the Keeper of the Grove to see a little bit further as we're going to see. take a quick look around. Are we going to see some damage onto that Blade Master? At least disrupt the healing on that Blade Master right there as you see. The Blade Master now, well, not going to be nearly as lucky as the Ent is going to die to timed life. A little bit of bad luck there by um, um, by Lin La Laette denying some experience, doing a great job once more as the unit's still wandering back around. 26 supply compared to 23. Blade Master gonna perhaps get in front. Sees the Blade Master and the Keeper of the Grove. Are we gonna see a little bit of an engagement here? There's some attacks. Blade Master gonna get in two shots rather quickly as the Keeper of the Grove still opts to run away. Now, there is some mo plenty of Moonwell for that Keeper of the Grove to try and engage. And by standing next to the Tree of Life, could perhaps actually exchange blows and come out ahead. Meanwhile, Huntresses are now joining in on the fight as well. Keeper of the Grove going to stay away um, from all of the action. Meanwhile, Grunts, on the other hand, they're going to make their way down. Perhaps try to do a little bit of creeping as we see a lot of action happening away from the units or away from the heroes. Keeper of the Grove. Now, well, healing up at the Fountain of Health, there is an Entangle. Why would you entangle your opponent while he is within health range of the Fountain of Health? Um, the healing range doesn't, doesn't really make sense whatsoever as Huntresses are still getting added through. Lolliet, let's take a look. I believe um, which one is Lolliet. I really can't tell the difference here. Okay, Lolliet is the red. 
and so red up here blue is in fact blue over here on the bottom left as the blade master perhaps it's going to try and clear out a relatively difficult creep camp knowing that some grunts could be making its way over we do see some proxy ancients of war being built all over the map as well 28 over 40 supply we are at stronghold and i am surprised by well the lack of units we are at a higher tech we are looking at the well the shadow hunter we are going into the bestiary and the spirit lodge but what, what economics of scale is what we're talking about here getting that first unit out onto the field that is a very very expensive unit your first bestiary unit and your first spirit lodge unit and spirit lodge remember is going to be either shaman or witch doctors you are not going to go for spirit walkers coming in from that spirit lodge shadow hunter now looking to do a little bit of creep or looking to do a little bit of harassment keeper of the grove is sitting at level three wisp are making their way down and oh this this could potentially be very bad. Are we going to see an entangle? Oh, a quick hex onto the Keeper of the Grove. The Keeper of the Grove going to try and go for an entangle. Yes, gets an entangle onto a Grunt. Grunt going to have a very bad day right there. Let's take a look at it. Going to get shut down already. There goes one Grunt unable to find find any well any true home meanwhile keeper of the grove gonna try and oh unable to cast the summon at all as you see a little bit of bounce damage and now wind riders joining in on the fight all right wind riders the perfect counter here meanwhile fortified armor as well and as the as you're gonna look at the barracks taking a lot of pressure huntress now looking to pull back here this mass huntress army you're gonna, you are gonna see some peasants or peons getting taken down here as well as the wind rider may try and engage shadow hunter not looking to pull back there's an entangle onto that shadow hunter let's take a look are we gonna perhaps get a surround and finish this unit off getting into harm's way the shadow hunter down to 52 hit points down to 53 22 8 there it goes as we now see another hex getting thrown down onto the keeper of the grove no entangle onto that one particular demolisher meanwhile shaman up getting an entangle once more is gonna try and finish off any more of those shaman units there one more shot yes it does get the kill as the demolisher however with wind rider should be able to well defend this location now the fact that the demolisher is a mechanical unit um, is gonna help out as the keeper of the grove is unable to entangle right there meanwhile blade master is coming nearby oh there's some wisp are we gonna see a detonation no detonation gets up to level two though as the units are all now looking to pull back. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 3. Are we going to see more damage? There's an entangle there. Huntress getting right into harm's way. Are we going to see a wind walk? Yes, we are. There's dust of appearance. But not going to matter very much as the Keeper of the Grove tries to get back into 150 mana range. All right. Keeper of the Grove trying to get back into 150 mana range. Where is he going? He's actually traveling a bit far, but perhaps wants to be able to creep out this creep camp without having to worry about exposing his back to his opponent. You can take a look. A number of Wisp off over here. Wind Riders overhead. And with all of that said, a quick entangle onto that Overlord. Overlord is pretty much out of the fight. Is it going to try and even return home? No, it's not. Mass Huntresses with a quick and easy surround. Helm of Valor picked up. Can usually use that clarity potion as well and once more that clarity potion should be extremely helpful the problem is going to be the wind riders and whether or not we get perhaps some envenomed spears shaman adept training also coming along huntress is now making their way through we are only at tree of life not even at tree of ages as the ancient of war coming across and getting trained up here ancient well excuse me training up some archers all right let's take a look back across Fountain of Health in position. We are looking at the Blade Master still wandering around from the back. We are going to see a couple of Sentinels keep track of this Blade Master. A win, what, a critical strike trying to take down another one, and another one gets taken down as well. Blade Master getting in some easy kills all across the map as we are looking at Lala yet perhaps a little bit distracted trying to do a difficult creep. All right, there's an entangle onto the Blade Master. Drake is going to get taken down. Let's take a look who gets the item. Blade Master, I believe, got the item there and was able to sneak away a beautiful steal as the Keeper of the Grove desperately does need mana. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4, getting very close to level 5 though, as while well, archers and huntresses low on hit points should be joining in over here to heal back up. Mass archer army, um, do we have the improved bow upgrade? That is what I'm looking for now. Um, we are getting that improved bow upgrade here as sentinels are also just... 
owl sentries are just making their way around the map, keeping track where that blade master is. All right, Keeper of the Grove going to stay still solidly at level 4. We are going to be going into a massive tier 1. You can see that illusion is pretty much going to be ignored. Um, you, you know that it's an illusion because of that sentinel. Not quite sure why he actually used um, mana from the Keeper of the Grove to try and... Um, do anything there all right extra bonus damage once again illusion just going to be making its way back out a little bit of bonus damage but demolisher could easily cause some problems keeper of the grove now trying to make its way through entangle onto a grunt but well that one demolisher gonna cause some serious problems as the alchemist off over here says you know what maybe i'll just try to do a little bit of healing all right, Blade Master coming in from behind. Windwalk strike onto that archer there. Blade Master bringing up the rear. Damage going to get added in. Blade Master quickly gets entangled here. Does have enough mana for a windwalk. There is an owl sentry. More damage getting added. Purge. Blade Master able to shake off the slow from the purge as it wanted to make sure, well, that it didn't take any more damage or rooted any longer from that entangle. Alchemist has still not yet shown its ability. Meanwhile, sentries, archers, are we going to be right here? Yes, we are. One archer could get taken down. Entangle onto the Blade Master. Blade Master gets healed back up, followed by a potion of healing, and still low on hit points. One grunt just trying to stand amongst multiple units. Is it going to get taken out as that one grunt is dealing massive damage? And now the Ents are joining in on the fight as well. Shaman's joining, pushing through. Uh, we are looking at the Alchemist. Alchemist is sitting at level 1. Blade Master and, well, Demolisher rather slow right now. This could be a problem as the Demolisher is one of the key units to try and stop this one particular uh, what uh, uh, one particular Huntress army. All right, Huntress purposely getting into harm's way. Is it going to be able to deal enough damage and uh, take down this one Demolisher? Demolisher, one or two more shots. Yes, it does get taken down as we're looking at perhaps the Alchemist in a little bit of trouble. Oh, Shadow Meld right there. Lightning Shield finishes off a unit. Grunt could get taken down. Oh, wow. Scroll of Healing used in time to try and save as that one Grunt tries to join back in. 50 supply compared to 42. Blade Master still trying to pull away. Eight or well, nine supply, eleven supply advantage for Lalayette right now. But he's still having a difficult time pushing into this particular location. Moonwell is being built pretty much everywhere here. Wisp uh, coming back across. Let's take a look. Perhaps a little bit of healing over at the Fountain of Health in the con in the corner of the map here on Concealed Hill. And with that, the Fountain of the Health is really going to help. Well, who's it going to help? A couple of archers there. All right. Kodo Beast now making their way back down over here to the 6 o'clock location. Are we going to see some sort of engagement? Yes, we are. Going after this creep camp. Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4. Um, well, Blade Master Illusion pretty much going to get ignored. A lot of focus fire right now as the um, Alchemist is taking a lot of damage but should be able to um, well, hang on. Let's take a look at this. More damage getting pushed through. Belt of Giant Strength. Even more hit points. Huntress's Keeper of the Grove sitting at level 4. Could get to level 5. Does get to level 5. Should really be backing away now as it would give the Al or Alchemist a little bit more experience. Alchemist regenerating hit points. Should be able to get into 700 hit points really quickly and easily. Maybe even going to try and top off. No, going to stay, stay strong at 670 before it makes its way over. All right, Grunts, Raiders now pushing their way through. Shaman are at Adept Training. That is incredibly important with that Lightning Shield. Alchemists now making their way over through as well. Huntresses are out as well. Keeper of the Grove could try and use that. Try to finish off that one particular Wind Rider as the archers are all there. Huntresses now joining in on the fight. We could see, a, well, there goes one unit. Ents now joining in on the fight as well. Keeper of the Grove at the party. Shaman purging down that army pretty much instantaneously at school of speed being used entangle onto the kodo beast kodo beast gonna get surrounded scroll of town portal is it gonna be enough shadow meld onto one low hit point huntress gets the huntress back out before the scroll of town portal well it does go off Nicely played by La Layette so far, keeping his um, units alive. He's using lower tiered units, but he does have good upgrades on them. Meanwhile, Shaman with Adept Training, Raiders 0-2 upgrades. Both sides are going to be fighting their way through as, well, we see it in Snare onto a Rock Golem. All right, one Watchtower going to be easy, easily destroyed. Alchemist 
not going to get to the level 3 that he wants off of that watchtower. But the Keeper of the Grove also is still, well, quite a bit of ways from that next level 2. Now, what can what can Lin do in this spot? Lin does have raiders. The raiders, however, are weak to the huntresses. But then again, the huntresses are also weak to raiders. It's going to really come down to execution and focus fire. Shamans with lightning shield is going to be incredibly important. But there hasn't really been that much mana on those shaman to really do a large amount of damage. Meanwhile, Blade Master and Shadow Hunter getting a little bit of free experience here. From all of these Ents. Back off to the north. Are we going to see this particular creep camp cleared out? More Sentinels being brought into play. Alchemist is at level 3. So perhaps level 2 Acid Bomb or level 2 Healing Spray could be in order. Alchemist is going to be looking strong though. Belt of Giant Strength. Extra damage. Extra hit points. Finishing off a number of units. Alright. Coming in from behind. Uh, raiders, wind, wind riders, shadow hunters all coming across here. The sentinels and the simple map awareness of this army is really a problem. Lala yet able to see um, in so many places as we see a quick purge onto a huntress. All right, gonna end up staying sticking around. Oh, there it goes. Ents joining in on the fight. Acid bomb damage over time. The level two variety as the Kodo Beast does get healed back up once more. Wind Riders, Raiders, the perfect units to try and fight their way through. Blade Master sitting at level 3 has a Ring of Regeneration. More Sentinels are here. How come it's not spotted? Oh, there you go. Wind Walk Strike onto another Ent right there. Could get taken down. Let's take a look. Yeah, will get taken down. Nope. Does not get chased. 68 supply compared to 60. Uh, we are looking at the Glaive Bounce. From one building to another. Raiders are now going to try and make their way over. As that bounce is just doing so much bonus damage. Let's take a look at what's happening here. Meanwhile, repairs are going to be rather difficult. Ents getting, quickly getting finished off. Let's take a look. Massive. Huntress is finishing it off. 2-1 upgrades. Able to do so much damage. Acid bomb of grunts. Multiply tightly grouped units. As the shamans are now going to make their way out. Lightning shield. The scroll of protection. Lightning shield on the raider could deal so much damage you can see lightning shield again kodo beast eating up a unit as well as we're going to see another raider getting fallen 69 supply compared to 58 healing spray trying to save the alchemist alchemist could be in trouble keeper of the grove trying to get away alchemist down to 240 207 but is able to stay alive keeping that healing spray on himself Belt of Giant Strength dropped and picked back up. Perhaps no uses it while holding the Belt of Giant Strength. Not quite sure why you would do that other than it being a, a mistake there. Alchemist now making its rounds out as well. Let's As we are moving out to perhaps clear out a difficult or a relatively easy expansion. Alchemist will get to level 4. Alchemist getting to level 4 at this point. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, we'll finish it off. There it goes. Gets to level 4. Level 5 on the Keeper of the Grove. Level 4 on the Alchemist. Going up against a 3 uh, Blade Master and a 4 Shadow Hunter. Blade Master, will it level up here? I do believe so. There are enough creeps, especially if the Shadow Hunter backs off. Oh, wow. A little bit shy. Um, Shadow Hunter took just enough experience to deny level 4. All right, healing spray being used again. All right, using that Moonwell as much as possible, trying to top off everything. Illusion, uh, just simply going to get ignored as we are looking at another watchtower being built at the 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock expansion down to the south. That expansion um, may come into play. Don't really know yet. More Orc Burrows are being placed down. Repairs are, well not coming in 700 gold in the bank meanwhile 154 that 700 gold could turn into um, equality here in just a moment as we are going to be look at well there goes a huntress huntress getting taken down 59 supply kodo beast doesn't have anything in its belly army sizes are about even Let's take a look at this next. 2-2 two, two upgrades. We are not going into Tree of Eternity. So maxed out upgrades for the Night Elf. Moonwells are going to be pretty full here in just... Or start to fill back up here in just a second. We are almost at Nightfall. And once that happens, I do believe we are going to have um, well, a pretty well-timed attack. 
we are getting up a great haul down here to the south expansion now finally underway as Lin wants to go into the late game. Meanwhile, La Layette, well, La Layette not quite sure what he wants to do here. I think La Layette wants to finish up the game. Lin doesn't mind if the game goes long. That's the reason why he's going to this great hall, but will it get there? That is the question. All right, Force of Nature gonna get taken down. There it goes. Uh, Hunts, uh, Lightning Shield, Raider now coming across. Gonna stand amongst all of these units. There goes the Watchtower. Blade Master now trying to fight its way about as well as the Blade Master Illusion. Well, just gonna get taken down. Another Lightning Shield here. Are we gonna uh, healing spray keeping up multiple units alive as the Blade Master still shows up, causing a lot of these units to just run around, and that could potentially be the problem. All right, 60 supply compared to 61. Lin, Lalayette still battling it out. More Ents joining in. Are we going to see some purges? Scrolls of healing across multiple units again. Blade Master now going after some of that back line again. Blade Master doesn't have that much damage. As the Blade Master is sitting at level 4, does it isn't getting the big critical strike that it needs. Blade Master finishing off some units. 60 compared to 64 supply. All right, Lalayette, uh, Lalayette pushing through Lin. And Lalayette still battling about even. Another big critical strike once more. There goes a grunt though. As the lightning shields are going to be dealing some massive damage as well. Making their way back down. Lightning shield going after some low hit point units. There goes another Huntress. There goes another grunt. Another Huntress now gets taken down. Both sides losing lots of units. Blade Master is just getting lots of kills though. How much more damage can it really hope to do? As the Raiders are also doing a bit of friendly fire damage. All right. Uh, trying to get back away. Shadow Hunter does have a potion of lesser invulnerability. Could use it. Uses it in time. Goes after the Alchemist. Alchemist gets taken down. Blade Master is at five. And with the Shadow Hunter still invulnerable, this could be a problem. Lala yet really nowhere to go. And Lin looks like he's going to come away with the victory as he has the lower score but able to get enough damage on Lala yet's heroes to take them out. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.